Pius was established in response to what was really a genocide. In 1881, after the pogroms started against the Jews in Eastern Europe, millions fled Eastern Europe and Russia and came to the United States and other immigration countries needing assistance, and Hayes was there prepared to help. I was on the German occupation, and I saw the Germans burn down my house. My little town of Brook, 30 survived, just 30, and I'm one of those. I became aware of Hyas when I first arrived in a DP camp. They made sure that we had enough food to eat. They organized the school system. They were teaching us English. People who were liberated finally got to live rather than exist. My mother, Ruth, who was then 14 years old, and her brother and her parents were all seeking to get out of Woodsburg. And Hyas offered her a foster family in Rochester, New York. Then they were able to get her family out of Germany. Had it not been for Hyas, my mother would not have made it out of Germany. And I was very, very fortunate to actually have all four of my grandparents as a child. My mother, when she was liberated from the concentration camp, had an uncle in Houston who wrote an affidavit of support and through the work of Hyas, they were able to arrange her documentation. So she was one of the first survivors liberated from a concentration camp who came to the United States. And my dad, too, was assisted in coming to the United States by Hyas. My mother credits Hyas for giving her the opportunity to start this new life. Hyas gave me a second chance in life. They are the one that found a sponsor for me and they are the one that guided me from Germany to Cedar Rapids, Iowa. The highest has saved my life. The mission of Highest today is the same as it was when we were started over 120 years ago. We help refugees who are fleeing persecution because of who they are or what they believe. We used to help refugees because they were Jewish, and today we help refugees because we are Jewish. And so we're able to turn our attention to helping other refugees out of Jewish values. So we now help refugees from all over the world, of all continents, of all faiths and ethnicities. The energy and the hope and the spirit of Houston is built on the shoulders of immigrants, of people who came to the United States to build a better life and in the process have made our society as strong as it is. Right now we are facing the largest refugee crisis in world history, with more people displaced than ever before, even than during and after the Second World War. So just the sheer size of it is something that we need to address. Over the time of their existence, they've assisted this resettlement of some four and a half million refugees around the world. They truly are heroes. The same organization that helped my mother escape Germany is still doing the same things and encouraging other people to stand up for what is right. I think they need to be honored for all the good deeds they did for the refugees. Hyas was definitely instrumental in us having a better life and a better future. I got married, had five children. The five children had 14 grandchildren. From one guy, you have 19 people who achieved the American dream. We have to be relentless in reminding ourselves and our neighbors and our leaders that we are a people who welcomes refugees that that is our responsibility as a people and as a country. If that's what moral courage is, then you can call us courageous, but it's just what we do at highest.